it probably would stop, but the problem is if it got real cranked up and it started to burn too hot, it's going to start picking up these weeds on fire and throwing them ahead. And our 50, even if we had 50 feet, may not be enough. So normally what we'll do is uh, on a windier day in grassy fuels like now, I mean, if this was a pine stand, it'd be a totally different situation. But out here in the open, I would, what we'll probably end up doing is running a flank fire where I'll start here at my fire and light from my fire directly into the wind. So the only way it can move is to move sideways. So it will move faster than it's moving here, having to fight the wind, but it will only move at probably a third the rate that it would if I lit it so it could go with the wind. Because it can't burn back this way because it's gonna hit black. There's nothing to burn. It can't go directly against the wind because the wind's pushing it. But it can go, it can push out sideways. So that's how we normally on a windier day out in grassy conditions, how we'll get the fire get done in a shorter amount of time. This would burn by itself. It would burn the entire block with no problem, but it would take all day to do it. So we just don't, if, it, if this was a natural fire, you know, and this was, this little swampy area was a natural fire break, well, it would sit there and just back out until this evening where it would, the humidity would put it out. But since we're getting paid by the acre, essentially, we don't have the luxury to mimic a natural fire to get the smoke up and out of here, get the fire put out before nightfall and get everybody home, you know, without having to spend the night out here listening to frogs chirp. <laughs> so we're getting real close to being able to leave this area and say, okay, that's good. Keep going. <laughs>